So, that was good, y'all. Um, so I got a surprise uh, session with Kage for y'all today, actually. Um, I got invited to go tour uh, Plaid Jackets Farm with the homie. So I'm about to go do that today. Uh, we're going to drive from here to Seattle. And then um, we're going to take a tour of this shit. There's some really fire flower at uh, the Top Shelf 358 area. Um, and, you know, I was always curious and skeptical what they do. I'm not skeptical. I'm not curious what they do over there. So shit, let's go look at it. Um, <clears throat> I'm about to wake the fuck up, go uh, shower, and when they start it. And then I will see y'all pretty much in the morning. Alright, so I'm here with my boy Logs. We're on our way to plaid jacket right now. Let's get it, boy. What up? Uh, but we just, you know, roasted a little bit of that, uh, that pineapple beignet before we go. Uh, man, how supposed to fire? Y'all really keep doing y'all shit. I put it in the joint this time and the taste came through even more like that. In feet, use the right lane but uh, plaid jacket, we on the way. We're gonna see y'all in a little bit. And he said it was the perfect pair. You said the room was yes, a little we need to see. All right. The perfect pair. I haven't had, even had the perfect pair yet. I've only tried. I like the emergency, that Max Gag, and actually I like that Pablo's Revenge too. That shit. I don't even talk about it in the story. It is, I, just, I forget to sell it because it's it's a sleeper pick. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a minute before we get there. So, so uh, let's see. Out here near an airfield or a helicopter thing. All right. Plaid jacket. Let's do this. <laughs> so it looks like we made it here to plaid jacket. We're about to go in and meet with them here in a second. Like you can tell it's them though because like you know like their packaging is really fucking fancy. Like they just have like a regular warehouse right. And then like it's lined all along the bottom with like nice wood panel like and shit. Like that's that's pretty on brand. That's pretty funny. Um, well I'm excited to see what this flower is about to look like. Yeah, you had a screen Yeah, right there. The first one is the men's back Please, that drive was long. Oh, yeah. So, a little rundown about this facility. Everything was built from the ground up for the sole purpose of growing good cannabis. It wasn't, uh, I don't know if you guys have been to a farm tour before. Uh, no, I've been to a few. Yeah. Uh, just like cedar or an you know, epic and passion flower. Yeah. And, uh, and like I've just like seen like other ones. Like, yeah, yeah. So was, like, what you may have seen is, you know, some grows, they're like a old warehouse that they kind of retrofit into a grow. Where this thing was completely, they just bought the land and they're like, they like yeah, built the whole build. It's like the yeah. building itself was built. Ground everything, was going. Yeah. everything was in with the yeah. intention of growing with That's so, nice. Yeah, yeah, a little backstory about Matt and Chad, who you guys briefly met, those were the two owners, right? Um, they helped us grow over here to our left. Uh, there's another facility. Uh, they helped them get started, and they're like, hey, let's get started ourselves. Do hand water is uh, monks. Yeah. That's okay. the only thing we hand water. Okay, so like you guys actually go in there. Yeah, and this, like, this is our big mom room that we're going out of. It's okay, I like to show you like, if I this is, whoa, whoa, these look. Have you been in any gardens? Say, yeah. have I been in any what? Any other gardens today? Like, no. Yeah. No? Yeah, it's like the back here. Here, you can come back here. You don't need to walk in this room. I don't know, it's you're okay, good, I'm sorry, good. I'm so you're sorry. Good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to like, I thought so I didn't want to like go too far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these, like that big mom there, that's ice cream sandwich, that's about four and a half months. Yeah. Oh. Typically, how long do we mother stay in here again before we cycle in? That's it. That's it. Four okay. is the max. the max. We we don't like them being over four months old. They start breaking. They're too big. They're growing yep. like that one's growing in the lights. Yep. I only kept it around just to have extra bomb material. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, hey, that's why not? I speak the same way. Yeah. yeah. That's a strain for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like sweet. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Those are two. come out of that room at least for now. Okay. Um, every week, or a typical week we do, uh, the clone trays have, uh, have 78 clones per tray. We do 15 trays every week. Okay. Um, 
1,200 pounds roughly uh, every Friday. That gets set, and the next Friday we do it all over again. Man. Uh, but it's all LED. Wow. That looks crazy. And then it's so pretty in there. 295 plants per uh, level on the table, so 590 all together. Because that's going to be one flower room. Yeah, these are the only room. LED rooms you guys do? What's that? This is the only like, LED rooms you guys have? No. Oh, okay, okay. No, then I misunderstood. No, I misunderstood. LED is just for bed here in this uh, bedroom. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. They look like, like it's like, they just look so happy in there, low-key. Like, yeah. the plants look yeah. good in there. Yeah. Like, just living well, life in there. <laughs> planning in the main table today. And then, uh, the sound table is what we're cooking tomorrow as well. Okay. Oh, they're rocking in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this. Wow. That's the one he hasn't tried. Yeah, I haven't tried perfect pear at all. So, I, yeah, I like that. Uh, Pablo's. It's grapey, it's frosty, yeah. it's beautiful. No. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only the first half of the lights are out. Oh, oh. Nope, I'm just looking. All right, I'm going to get back to planting. You guys have a good day. Thank, Thank you, right. bro. Wow. Look at the frosting. The rock. Oh, they stand so pretty. You know that? It's like, it's like fresh. Like, that looks nuts. It's like, that's the bottom. That's a bottom. Uh, bunch. Like, it just looks so... And it's like, it really does smell super. Like it's, I guess it's really like so being outside. It's like being fresh outside. All perfect pair. All perfect pair. That's so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you that Jeez. Look, Look at that Lance, right I want you all to know that you yeah. are beautiful. <laughs> Every single one of you are beautiful. <laughs> oh wow. All perfect pair. Wait, I've been trying to show this shit for a little second. They got arcades up here chilling. Play some second tag, Area 51. That's hysterically awesome. Similar, like kind of smells like. Yeah, it definitely grass. does. Smell like, like like good lands, like yeah, landscaping like, going on. Yeah. Okay. And so it will be in this room for about anywhere from about 21 to 24 days. Um, we set up all these sensors. Right there. Right. It turns out. The best sensor we have in this facility is Joe. I don't know if you met him, he's that bold guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, I remember he's, single. Yeah, yeah, he's an executive. He was an executive chef. He grew back in the 90s. He was doing, and he, he can touch this and tell us when it's ready. Based on the touch of the stand, yeah, really. he'll know when it's ready. Now, like, would you say, like, if you bend it in the snap, uh, I think it's too dry. Too dry. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Y
we got a whole bunch of fire shit to look at uh they gave us a really really good fucking experience like, like that shit was pretty phenomenal like so when it comes to like solidifying confidence and top show shit they did they did that that's for sure um they definitely got us excited for a whole lot of stuff um, on the way we went we ahead and also grabbed it like on the way out like uh, Seattle we went ahead and grabbed some stuff too from them. um but we gotta we gotta know if it's good especially after spending a lot of time there you know so let's see we went ahead and grabbed this check this got a oh oh shit so we was talking this up a whole lot the mac the miracle alien cookies that one Oh shit. The perfect pair. That's that that room smelled so good. That was like that was walking into like a fruit tropic drunk jungle walk into that, that fucking bro room, bro. It was crazy. Ooh. This Ethiopian sky color solventless hash. For real, I did mention paint like in that shit. So like if it's solventless hash, I'm like that's crazy to even see. The emergency. And a whole lot of shit that we gonna have to try out. But like most of the stuff we already love. Like the homie lies here, he thinks that shit's fire from them. But they've been talking about some doing some carts. That that shit's gonna be bro, what you think? That's gonna be fire. Bro. It's too much good stuff coming out of the house right now to not be excited about them. Like they did a good job uh getting this going for the for that flag girl, bro. Uh shit, we're gonna be seeing a whole lot more than we talking a little bit more about their flowers. That's so sweet. <coughs> and turkey as fuck. Talked about it, smoked some of the stuff that they gave us, got to check out 
Um, they even got us, uh, they gave us one of their carts I've been smoking on for a little bit. Um, this ceramic cured resin cartridge. When I tell you I've never had a fucking cart be so, like, so flowery, to, like, it's as if I'm hitting and, like, tasting the flower just without the burn, bro. It's, like, crazy. And then, like, the sizing's been popping the shit out of this. It's been a little minute since I've recapped on this on what I saw, but I was, I was just, I just, I couldn't figure out a way to put it all into good words, you know? But this, they gave me the Specimen X and the Ethiopian Sky Cuddler. I'm rocking that Specimen X right now, because that's a so nice and piney makes me feel so nice and chill kind of laughy <coughs> um but anyway like going so silly like that bro they are a testament to good weed for sure um like the, from seeing the facilities from like and everything that we got to find out about it from knowing it like it's built from like the ground up to be straight a weed facility like it's not no warehouse retrofitted for nothing any crazy shit like that that shit's kind of crazy actually like um even getting to see like see the like getting into the flower rooms like we didn't even i was so impressed by the fact that we couldn't go into a lot of these rooms to prevent a lot of like human like, contamination and things like that and, like you guys saw I, I had to step on my step my feet in a sanitation thing and then before even entering the rest of the facility that passed the lobby like i i've never experienced a a precise um grow operation such as that like and like we did get to go into one room that was that that was the, the perfect pair is what it was called it's one of their one of their favorites one of them, and i actually kind of like it too um but it, it just smelled so awesome just like a wonderful fruity jungle bro and like these they got these coming soon like he was like we we pressed some diamond uh some diamonds that we had uh with this like it, i can't remember it all it was so it was so amazing <coughs> um oof. um and then on top of that what else did we see oh yeah and even getting to talk to them just seeing how like like getting to see like how like how much live turf just sitting on those buds that they were showing us getting to taste some of their rosin for once was amazing like the rosin that i got to see was and they haven't even, we haven't even gotten yet like, it hasn't come out as far as i've known yet and like <sighs> oh, amazing bro it was such a good rosin so clean so smooth i was so fucking high it was sick thank you plaid jacket for letting us come check all that out if y'all looking for like a real a real like eight that is a testament to like wild well-grown reliable uh um clean and fucking and really top shelf for 45 dollars plaid jacket is hitting that mark too man like i've, I've been obsessed with them uh, my favorite shirt for them was that Max Gack. Actually, I, I smoked the fucking infused blunt of that shit. You know, we, we, we've done that on their channel. And that's even how I found out about them. But Plaid, keep that shit up. Like, I, I'm going to talk to the grower. So we're going to have some content about that here soon, too. Uh, just to kind of get pick their brains and really get into, like, what does top shelf flower even really look like mean from people who are really being like, this is top shelf flower and delivering, you know? And like so far, they really after some going through facility, they they definitely instilled some trust in me as a as a bud tender and as a stoner just on what some of their shit is, you know. So my jacket, keep that shit up. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be doing some more tours as well. I got a few more that we that we're looking at. Uh, so go ahead and be looking, be ready for that. Uh, we'll see who else is good in the game. You know, we got some histor historical greats as well as some who are new, uh, just dropping some straight fucking fire, you know? And we're gonna figure out which is which. Uh, but till then, as always, stay high. Don't forget to like the con like the video and tell me what you think about Plaid Jackie yourselves if you smoke them, you know? Uh, like, what's your favorite strain? How'd you find, how'd you see them? Like, and do you, after, do you think they're top shelf for you? Like, you know, especially when we're talking about Washington weed, especially. Um, and even honestly, even comparison to like Port Portland or Seattle stuff, let me know. Put drop it in the comments. Uh, and if you're here, if you're new to the channel, 
go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for that. Welcome to the family. Uh, and as always, say hi.